so now we're going to do number patterns so with number patterns the first one that we're going to do today is the aromatic right after doing the aromatic i'm going to leave a quiz for aromatic every possible questions that you can find for aromatic is going to be down below in the description the quiz and if you are struggling with number patterns like for you there's two ways right is that i do have a full video that covers the entire of number pattern which is called master number pattern i'll just leave an eye on top or to your advantage honestly right is that you can purchase the course for this it covers every question actually every question that is done here to the others that have already done it and so it covers every question right so if you do if you are struggling with number pattern just go ahead and purchase my course it's a once off payment it's 190 right and you get access to the course till you write your november paper so it's going to be down in the description and as i said the fact that we cover by this point every possible questions and as time goes i'll be adding more questions and i think the questions that i'll be adding is like more or less the difficult questions because to be honest when i was looking at different papers is that i did see the fact that i've covered all the basics which is a good thing so now i just need to add the advanced questions so with that said let's start answering the aromatic guys so it says 2.1 consider um the series right a and this is they give us the series this one i'm not going to do because it's going to be way it's in my course it's basically a proof that you need to know so it's going to be in my course um so this one is just going to be in my course i'm not going to do it so i'm just going to go to 2.1.2 right it is given that 2 to the power x plus 2 multiplied by 2 to the power x plus 3 uh, multiplied by 2 to the power x and they tell us that the sum of the first 20 terms of the series is equals to 1680 then they tell us that we need to calculate for what we need to calculate for x right so let's do that this is going to be 2.1.2 right so i'm going to write the um uh, series so it's going to be 2 to the power x then this is going to be plus 2 multiplied by 2 to the power x plus is going to be 3 multiplied by 2 to the power x and it continues right so when it continues they tell us the fact that we need to calculate what we need to calculate the we need to calculate for x so we need to find a and we also need to find what we need to find d right so we know the fact that this is aromatic so the difference here we know the fact that it's going to be what if you say here 3 right multiplied by 2 to the power x minus 2 to the power to the power x and this is going to give you what this is going to give you since it's multiplied by the same thing it's the same as saying 3 minus 2 which is going to give you 1 right which is the same as 2 to the power x so even here when you check the same thing if you're going to say 2 to the 2 multiplied by 2 to the power x minus 2 to the power x this is the same as multiplied by 1 so this is the same as saying 2 minus 1 which is going to be since it's 1 multiplied by 2 to the power x it's just going to be 2 to the power x so with that say we know the fact that d is going to be equal to 2 to the power x and we know that a which is the first term is going to be equals to 2 to the power x so we have our a and we have our d right so we know the fact that our n they say the fact that the first 20 terms so we know the fact that our n is equals to what is equals to 20. so with that said we're gonna use what we're gonna say is n is equals to because to find why to find x they gave us with the fact that the first 20 terms is equals to 160 uh, is equals to 1800 1680 not me not knowing how to count wow but yeah so we know that sn is equals to i'm going to use the formula with d and n so it's going to be n divided by 2 then it's going to be open bracket it's going to be 2a right and this is going to be plus then it's going to be n minus 1 then this is going to be d close your square bracket right so we're going to substitute we know the fact that this is going to be sn right so this is sn so this is going to be what 1680 is equals to we know the fact that n is 20 so it's going to be 20 divided by 2 then open bracket is going to be 2 then a is what is 2 to the power x right and this is going to be plus then this is going to be 20 minus 1 right and this is going to be 2 to the power x then close bracket right close your close your curve bracket and square bracket right so this is going to be 1000 
and 80 is equal to, this is going to give us 10. Then now we're going to simplify the square bracket. This is the same as 2 multiplied by 2 to the power x plus 20 minus 1 is equals to 19. And this is going to be multiplied by 2 to the power x, right? Close your square bracket, right? So I'm going to divide both sides by 10 because I want to get rid of this 10. So when I do that, when I say uh, 1,000, when I say 1,000, uh, 1680 divided by 10 I'm going to get what I'm going to get 168 is equals to then since you see the fact that they are multiplied by the same thing it's the same as saying 2 plus 19 and when you say 2 plus 19 it's going to give you 21 so this is going to be 21 multiplied by 2 to the power x now I want to get rid of this 21 so 2 to the power x can be unknown right when I do that when I say 168 divided by 21 I'm going to get the fact that that's going to be equals to 8 is equals to 2 to the power x change this into a factor this is going to be the same as 2 to the power 3 is equals to 2 to the power x. Do you see the fact that the base are the same? So this is the same as 3 is equals to x. So therefore, x is equals to 3. And that's how you would solve this equation. I hope that makes sense, right? So now we're going to answer what? We're going to answer 2.2, right? So with 2.2 is that they say given that sn is equals to n squared plus n divided by 4, calculate ta. As I said, the fact that Almost every question I covered it. I covered this question. There is a similar question that's exactly like this. I think two more because one is me explaining the concept, and the second one is actually uh, me. It's actually a, a quiz that's after me explaining the concept. And I actually did more than one question. This one is like actually the easier version of it. But in the course, I've done more questions that deals with this so that you can have like a wider range on answering this type of question. So with that said, they said the fact that calculate T8. If you're given SN and you need to calculate the term, is that to do that is going to be that T8 is going to be equals to S8 minus S7, right? Because you're given the sum. So what we need to do is that we need to find S8 and we can just substitute our 8 there. So it's going to be 8 all squared plus 8, right? And this is going to be divided by 4. When you punch that into the calculator, you're going to get the fact that S8 is equals to 80. Now we need to look for S7, right? So S7 is going to be 7 squared, right? Plus 7, right? And this is divided by 4. When you punch that into the calculator, you're going to get 14, right? So therefore, T8 is basically equals to S8, not me writing infinity, S8, let's do that. So it's going to be S8 minus what? Minus S7, right? So this is going to be 18 minus 14. So this is going to be equals to 4. So T8, it's basically equals to 4. So that's how you would do that question.